Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Alright, in between episodes, I did work on the Sphere Grid again. And right now, I got Focus on Lulu, which should actually increase her magic output. In fact, we can probably go over these abilities right now. Raises Party's magic and magic defense. So it's kind of like Cheer in that sense, and it's even free to use. Waka now has a pretty good ability as well called Extract Ability. To make one enemy drop ability spheres, which is what we've been lacking lately. So having Waka use that will really help us out. Alright, let's continue. Lord O'Holland, guide our feet. Ah, uh, sure I'll pray with ya. Why are you obsessed with feet, Waka? Weird like that. A summoner, are you? My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> My, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. What's her problem? <sighs> a guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? That's a smile? Uh, I guess we'll just uh, see if we can go on in. Yep, we can do that. The faith is below. Let's do it! The faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. No! Oh. Ah! Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um... We'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. Rude. Screw that, I'm going too. Also, how the hell did Waka get ahead of us if he we got in that door before he did? He was still praying. Yeah, it almost takes a day for the elevator to get back. Where's Yuna? Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Ah, let me go! Go! Hey! What's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? This is bad. Really bad. Well then. Looks like there's some uh, issues around other summoners. Seems like a sense of jealousy. 
Only guardians go allowed. And I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now. Alright, time to do the uh, Cloister of Charles. Speaking of which, how do these guys get through the door? Well, let's take the Kiliga Spear. Remember, there's three different kinds of spears. A Glyph Spear, a Destruction Spear, and a spear related to the area you're in. So we'll take that. Oh, it burns away the door. I can't get past this. Let's pull that back. There, now we have a way forward. Alright, guess we'll put the Kiliga Spear over here in this recess. And it just made a glyph appear! Nice! Also, I should put this spear down before I can touch the glyph. Because you know I can't do things with two hands. There we go, and that allows us passage. I do see a pedestal. I wonder what that's for exactly. That's probably just to get a glyph spear. Or I can just step on this, bring the pedestal over here. I'm gonna take that killing spear. And I think I need to bring this back over this way. There, now I got two Kilika Spears back here for when I need them. In the meantime, I should take this Glyph Spear. And now we gotta bring it over here. Which I'll open this up. And that puts out the flames too, since the Kilika Spear is no longer connected to this. Or rather, that part of the wall is not connected to it. There's our destruction sphere, but we can't do anything about that till later. Because the item we're looking for is farther ahead. Let's take one of the Kilika spheres. Doesn't matter what one. We gotta put it on the pedestal. That will create flames on top of it. So now, we need to push it, like, right on that, uh... A little indent right over there. See the one with the glow? We gotta do that now. Oh my god, this is a pain in the ass though. Uh, did I push it too far? Nope, not necessarily. Somehow it worked. <laughs> Aha! Is that yet another Kilika Spear? I think it is. that. So now I need to put it somewhere else. Probably that one I just removed. There we go. Now we gotta go grab that destruction spear because we can finally use it. I never really, t don't really remember that if you put the destruction spear in the wrong spot you just get nothing. Like, does it only activate in a specific slot? I'm sure somebody would tell me. I don't really want to experiment. Hey, a red armlet! I guess we can put that on Kimari, because he uses armlets. Okay, it'll lower his HP, but he gets a lot of elemental resistance. I think that's worth taking. Now we need one final Kilika or Kilika Spear. So I guess we'll just take this one. Again, they fulfill the same purpose, so it makes no difference between the one on the west wall or the east wall. Because either way, you're still needing one to do this. There we go. And that's it. There's a little chime that tells you you completed it. 
How did you guys get through here if the door was still in place? Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. Well, then I'll just lay low for a while. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Oh. Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. What's a faith? The faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat Sin. Hey, big boy, can you talk? <gasps> No? <gasps> I just wanted to talk, man. Oh, what's your problem? Just wait. Uh... How long do we have to wait? Now? Okay. She's all woozy again. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. All right, now we got ourselves a new Aeon. So our second one is Ifrit, which of course is the Fire Aeon. All right, well at least we don't have to be in here anymore. I don't ever really check out these rooms. May the Kilika Beasts win this year's tournament, oh for Blitzball, and serve as a sign of encouragement and hope for the people of Kilika. Kilika Temple is the Temple of Fire. Even the Cloister of Trials is engulfed in flames. Yeah, I know, I've been there. Those who disobey the precepts and enter unsanctioned may forfeit their lives. Oh, wait, I, I've never been in there. What are you talking about? What's this about fire? Just lay low. <laughs> My mommy and daddy are at a place called the Fire Plain. I wonder when they're coming home. Oh... About that. Best not to let them know. They're just kids. Let's not say a word and just be up close in our personal space. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst.
Are, are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud. <laughs> ah! I wonder if everyone wonder what the hell is wrong with him. Alright, so we have to go all the way back through the woods again. So the thing is telling us to head back to the village. So I guess we have to get back on the boat. Alright, let's get Titus back. No problem. Oh yeah! This jerk. Alright, let's try out this new extract ability. I suppose it'll work on killer bees, right? Oh wow, it straight up kills them. I didn't know it was like purely offensive as well. Ooh, a metal shield! Now, I don't know if you use extract ability, it forces the enemies to no longer drop the spears they normally would. Alright, no blaze shield, I can replace it with a metal shield. And that just increases my defense by 3%. It's only 3%, so I'll keep SOS no blaze. Then again, that might only be for when I'm low on health. But metal shield will last the whole time. But now that I have a way to get a lot more ability spears, this is a great spot to just lay low for a while. Until I feel I've had enough. Alright, so in order to use uh, focus, I just have to go to special first. You know, we'll just try it out for kicks and giggles. And let's see how much more powerful fire is going to be. A little bit more powerful. It's pretty damn good if you ask me. There we go, now we're getting ability spears. So looks like if you got dispill... Distill ability on, that's the only type of spear you're going to drop. Alright, cool enough I guess. Alright, so I think before we go, the best thing I should do for a while, lay low, kill some enemies, get a lot more ability spheres, and then we should be good to go to continue. So why don't you give me a good wall and I'll meet you back here. Alright, several minutes later, we managed to get a few more ability spheres for later. Like up to 19, I feel that's just pretty good. A few of them had to be used on Yuna alone, just to get the rest of the uh, null spells. So there you go. We already had Null Blaze, but now we got Null Tide, Null Shock, and Null Frost. Once I get a little bit more, more levels or spear levels on Yuna, I can get her the Life Spell. So that would be pretty good to have. So I guess we just return back to Kilika, right? Hold on, did this place have a shop? Maybe I should buy some stuff before I go. Actually, I don't think this is a shop. I think we just need to go on. That over there, I think, is the pub. No, that's the inn. Never mind. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to leave, right? <laughs> Alright, fine, we'll leave. Ah, oh, there's probably a shop in the next place anyway, so... No, this must be the pub. Yeah, I already took the treasure contents. Never mind. They're still, like, sawing off that boat. Just so it's not in the way anymore. Yes, I'm a customer. Don't be so rude to me. Let's see, I already have a... The Rod of Wisdom, which is better, right? And, let's see. Don't really need the Hunter Spear. 
Or the Seeker Shield. I guess I don't really need all this stuff. But what I could do... Is I can probably just go ahead and sell some of my excess weapons. Like, for instance, this Seeker Ring over here can go away. And let's see, anything else we need to get rid of? The official ball, that doesn't have anything on it. It's pretty useless. And this Moogle can go. I mean, sure, you could probably put stuff on the slots later. But let's face it, it only has like one slot. What good is it gonna do? And that armlet can go away. I don't know if there's like a limit to how many things you can carry at one time. But you might as well just try to clean things up. Yeah, let's embark. Off to Luca at last. The matches start as soon as we get there. So rest up on the way, yeah? He's like, bye. I never got a chance to talk to you, but I don't need to. I'll just keep waving. That's all I'm programmed to do. Alright, so we're on our way to Luca. Hopefully Sin doesn't attack again. That is something we do not need at this point in time. Again. So as you can see, it's way more peaceful when you're not actually attacked. <laughs> I think Kamari there just being a bouncer to everyone. Maybe eventually he'll stop frowning. I hope he will. He works hard. <laughs> Oh, let me see if I go this way. What's over here? Uh, can I go in there yet? I don't think I can. It might not mean much, but good luck in the tournament. Uh, sure. Oh, it's you again! They ask a fortune for rags in Beside and Kilika. Wow. Me business is in shambles. What's an Oaka to do? I ask ye. Mind spotting me some gill again, lad? Uh, sure. Let's see, I already gave him, what, 500 gill? I'll give you... 2100. I'll make it up to you that I will. I'll make it up to you. I can probably... I can just see what Thank he's got. You. Nothing really good. Maybe I'll just lend him some more money. Spare some chain. Like, do I really need that much money on me at this point in time? Probably yes for the next place. You know, five hundred more. I'll make it up to you. That I will. All right, let's go into the engine room again. La 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 la. That's some good la 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 lying right there. Anything else going on? Let me see what happens if I go back this way. Is there anyone to talk to? Tournament's coming up real soon. I wish we had more time to practice, yeah? But we don't, so, huh. We'll just have to rely on our own muscle memory to get through. Hey, that boy in the Aurochs is a cutie. What boy? There's lots of them. You gotta be more specific, okay? <laughs> like, who is it? Let me just go up on the bridge. Let's see, there's a blitz ball over there. What y'all talking about? Who are you supposed to be? Ah, I remember him. Guy from Kilika. Huh? 
You know, one of the Besaid Aurochs said something about winning the cup. Oh, right. You're that idiot. Don't call him that. But he is an idiot. They don't got what it takes to win the cup. Well, they do now that I'm here. Yes, they will win. He used to be the star player of the Xanarkand Abes. <laughs> yeah, as if anyone lived in those ruins. It's not ruins. There's a big city there. There is. Uh... I, uh, got too close to Sin, and... There is a city, really. Right, whatever your ladyship says. Oh, these guys look like absolute chuds. Is there anything else for us to do in the meantime? Oh my god, this camera. There is a blitz ball over there. I guess I could take a look at that. But anyway, let's talk to Yuna. What's wrong? You seemed kind of mad back there. They were being rude, and... I do believe your Xanarkand exists. I really do, you know? How come? Sir Jekt used to always tell me stories. It'd be great to see your home someday. I'd love to go there. Yeah. So, Yuna, want to come over to my place? Right. Sure. As if I had a place to show her. Yeah, plus the other peeps wouldn't be able to handle that pretty well. They're just uh, like, Hey, I Sumner, you want to chill at my crib? I don't think they'd appreciate that at all. Ooh, there's a blitz ball over there I can work on. But I can also go up here. Let's take a look at it, no? Apparently you can't go to the front like it's Titanic. Alright, well, I guess we'll just go look at the blitz ball then. Can I? Oh, I guess you can't do that yet. But you could. Maybe you can't do that yet. Maybe I need to make more progress first. So I'm guessing I should go up the stairs. Well, say something. You'll take responsibility. Relax, he's bound to know someone in Luca. And if not? He could always join a blitz team. Anyhow, it's better than just leaving him in be said. What? Just leaving him in Luca? What do you want me to do? Yuno wants to make him a guardian. Oh, yeah, jeez. There's that too, eh? And whose fault is that? Not mine! It is mine, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it totally is. Okay, that's just back where I was. Let me check the door. I might get some stuff. Oh, wait a minute. There's something on the floor. Ah, nice. An Alabed Primer Volume 5. Okay, A becomes E. Good to know. No offense, but I'm a diehard Luca Goers fan. Good luck, pal. You're gonna need it. I'm sure I will. <laughs> anyway, let's see what these two are up to again. Why do you think she wants to make him a guardian anyway? Because he's Sir Jack's son. All right. Wait, you sure about that? He's really Sir Jack's son. It's hard to say, but Yuna seems to believe so. Okay. 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 That's all you have to say? Well, yeah, I mean, he's got to decide for himself, yeah? 
Well, him and Yuna, I guess. You're right, for once. <clears throat> I wonder which is best. Why don't you tell him he should? Should what? Become Yuna's guardian. Why me? Because Yuna can't. Why not? He hates his father. What he was, what he did. Do you really think she can possibly say to him, I want you to be my guardian, like your father was to mine? Aren't you being oversensitive? <sighs> all right, all right. I'll try talking to him after the tournament. Be discreet. I know. It's his decision. He doesn't like his father. Apparently, he told Yuna as much. Hating your own father, huh? Sounds like a luxury to me. I don't even remember my parents. Can't say how I feel about them. I... I was five then, so I remember mine a little. Damn it! Hmm? Sin just takes everything away from us. I know, right? Here, what do you guys say? Oh, that's it? Alright, well, that was interesting. Wait, why don't I go back in there? I meant to go down the stairs. So I'm gonna save. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because there is something you can do, but you have only one shot of getting it right. So, you know, just in case things go wrong, I can always reload. I mean, I don't want to reload, but that's an option. I don't know if there's an easy way to reload a save file other than just quitting the game and going back to the main menu. Okay, you had to go through those, one of those cutscenes. Let's see if I can do it right. To learn a new technique. Following my footsteps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. You can't do it, kid. But don't worry, my boy. You're not the only one. No one else can do it. I'm the best. The Jack Shot Challenge. Memories of that day shall haunt Titus and interfere with his concentration. Try to shake off the memories and successfully perform the Jack Shot. Press up and left at the same time. For example, when a memory appears in the upper left, Press, wait, oh, it's up and left plus X. So it's like diagonal? Simply press X without using the directional buttons or the left stick when it appears in the center. Try practicing a little. Press buttons to form the on-stream directions. Now for the real thing. You're out of your lead. Told you you couldn't do it. Oh, the messages don't show up for the real thing. Oops. Well, I screwed that one up. Uh. Hi. 
Oh. Mm. <laughs> Alright, well, that did not go according to plan. Alright, let me reload it and try it again. Alright, I had to reload my file and I tr let's try this again. Now I think I have a better idea on how this works. And apparently it's supposed to do with words on the screen. Press the buttons following on screen instructions. There we go. Now for the real thing. I'm the you're right, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm the best. No one else can. No one else. No one else. No you one can't else can. do it. No I'm one else. Bet you no can't one else do can do it. Did I do enough? Oh, I got striker. There. That was what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I left by moving my mouth. Yeah, right. Huh? Whoa, what's that called? Doesn't have a name. Anyone can do it if they try. Show us one more time, yeah? All right. All right. Why are you all looking at me like that? I'm so nervous. I knew it! I knew you were something special! Damn right I am. That was the Jack shot, wasn't it? Uh... No, uh, yeah. How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. He, he called it the Sublimely Magnificent Jack Shot Mark III. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But... Sir Jekt was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So, if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that. I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I, just I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Show me that move again. Yo! If I do it one more time, other people I didn't people think my old man too. would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was going to happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. All 
Alright, save current game? Absolutely. <laughs> Seeing as how I got the jack shot learned, I <laughs> don't want to try that again. Besides, I already got the trophy for it, so there you go. stops to try and bring back the cup this year. Exciting, isn't it, folks? Our next team off the ramp is... Well, well, well. If it isn't, the Basaid Aurox. They're a living, breathing, statistical impossibility. I've never seen a team this bad. That's right. In 23 years, they've never made it past the first round. Only a few die-hard fans are in the audience today. Best of luck to them and a safe journey back to Bisset. Right, Jim. Moving right along, our next team is... Here they are, folks. Our very own Luca Goers. They've got power, they've got speed, they've got teamwork. And Homer announcers. They're an all-round first-class team, and they're back home in Luka. Without a doubt, they are the favorite this year, Baba. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a miracle for them to lose today. You can say that again, Jimma. Look at the crowd, folks. Look at the crowd. Looks like all of Luka has turned out to cheer the goers on. They know, I know, and you know, folks. The Luca Goers are number one. Eh, hey, it's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you. Stop right there, Goers. You guys are smiling now, but not for long! Cause this year, us Aurochs are taking the cup! <laughs> what in Yevon's name were you doing up there? We sure stood out, though. We were on the sphere. We were? Maester Micah is here! Already? The number three dot! What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived, that's what. Micah? Maester? Maester Micah is the leader of all the peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. 50 years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Let's all go see him. Just imagine if he said that on the megaphone. <laughs> That is how you cause an incident. Alright, so let's just save it up after we got through that cutscene. And we'll stop the video here. Next episode, we'll do some exploring all around Luca. This looks like a very big city, by the way, so that should be fun. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching.